Let's review the business use case for our REST activity. We are a mobile application developer implementing an interactive application for movie listings and searches. Currently in the development stage, the process is being tested with an iTunes integration. When a user searches for information about a film, actor, or director, then a search results page is displayed and they can rent or buy the selected title. The integration team is tasked with creating and unit testing the back-end interface logic for the application. Our REST activity is broken into two sections. So in the first, we'll configure the HTTP connection and then configure the JSON profile, the decision shape, and create our output. For the first part, we're going to be accessing the iTunes API, which is a mobile app that provides interactive media listings on songs, movies, and so on. We're going to build this out in steps, focusing on configuring the connection and then creating that JSON file and writing the results. You can visit the iTunes search app to assemble the request URI. And then opening the iTunes search operation, scrolling down to the resource path. This is where we'll build out the rest of the URL, setting the limit first to one, and then saving our output. So let me go through the first section of the activity on pages 17 to 21 of the activity guide. Here in the training account, first I'm going to create a subfolder to house the REST activity. So here in Developer 2, create a new folder called REST, and then I'll load the process from the process library. I'll search processes by adding a filter of Dev2, and then install the REST activity in the REST folder. Now, a response document is needed to meaningfully interact with RESTful web service. The HTTP client connector does not support a dynamic response profile import. So we're going to configure the connector, then run in the build tab and save the response document to disk to configure and create a profile later. Now, each connector is a two-part container. We have the connection and the operation. In a RESTful web service integration, the connection component contains the base URI with the remaining URI built out using the resource path in the operation. Let's take a look here in the HTTP client connector at the connection. So here, the base URI has been added itunes.apple.com and the authentication type is set to none. Now we're going to configure the operation. Scrolling down to resource path elements, this is where we'll build out the remainder of the URI. We're going to be searching for Francis Ford Coppola, who is a famous movie director. So to do that here, replace with search criteria URI, search term equal to. Now, this is a replacement variable. So that means that the element will replace the value for the associated request with a dynamic value. We're going to enter the name Francis Ford Coppola as a parameter in the HTTP Client Connectors Parameters tab. Configure the rest of this, replacing with country.
equal to US and the limit equal to 1. I'll click Save and Close and then OK. All right, now I will enter the Parameters tab of the connector shape. Here's where we'll define the value for that replacement variable, name of person. So I'll click OK, and then select Profile Element the flat file profile, names of famous people. The process is designed with a no data start shape, which will trigger the process to run. And then the data will be entered into the document here in the message shape. So here I'll enter Francis Ford Coppola. You could enter more than one famous person because we have a data process shape that will split the documents by profile, taking each name and processing it individually. We also have a map shape here, which is performing a URL encode. That's going to take the value entered and encode it so that it will be recognized here in the HTTP client operation. All right, now I'll run the process here in the Build tab after saving it. Click the HTTP client connector and look at the connection data. So we'll see that we brought in one result. And what I want to do is to copy this. And then I'm going to paste it into a text editor. Save that to my local machine as a JSON file. We're going to use this in the second part of our activity to create a profile. All right, now it's your turn to complete the first section of the REST activity on pages 17 to 21 of the activity guide.